said I'm repeating my head China cabinet busted again Is it won't me a reason to win Picking up teeth off the pavement Broken like bread shirts that don't fit Kind of a struggle sometimes because I'm gonna go ahead and change your diaper Hello, hello. Oh my gosh, it has been a crazy last couple of days. I am currently improving in health. I have been just so, so, so sick. And baby girl was actually sick as well. We were both sick at the same time, which was such a hard thing to go through. I guess first of all, it is Wednesday, June 19th. It is about to be 1 p.m. I just put baby girl down for a nap. I worked from home a little bit this morning before heading to the office and we're back home now. Baby girl is resting and I just want to share a little bit more about what the heck has happened. All of last week, I kind of felt a little bit off, like I felt an itch in my throat and I was hoping it was nothing because that weekend, the weekend that just passed, was Father's Day weekend and it was my husband's first Father's Day so I was really excited because I had a whole thing planned. Come Thursday, I start feeling just even worse. I just felt a lot of chills in my body. Friday morning, I wake up feeling a little bit worse, but I was still able to work. However, like in the afternoon, it just came at me like a freaking train. I had such intense chills all over my legs. I couldn't even stand. Like I had to go sit down from how debilitating it felt. From that point on, Saturday, Sunday, I was out of commission. My main concern was that I didn't want to get baby be girl sick although it's kind of inevitable because i'm always with her so i was just really trying to breastfeed her as much as possible so she can get any antibodies that i had already produced on saturday i had actually booked top golf reservations for my husband and ourselves and like some other friends and family members that were going to meet us there and we were on our way our reservation was honestly like in 30 minutes from that point where we were heading out and i grabbed baby girl like we had already changed her and everything granted like this day was already like a warm day so like all of us like our body temperature was warm but i grabbed her i picked her up and i just knew she felt a little extra hot like she just didn't feel normal and sure enough we check her temperature and it was high so we canceled our reservations and we just started to like do what we can to bring her fever down i gave her some baby tylenol we gave her like a lukewarm water bath we called the pediatrics office and just kind of asked for more guidance because a lot of times even if i think we're exaggerating like oh my god we're just being new parents and we're like afraid i think it's better to be safe than sorry anyway long-winded way to say that the fever came and the fever went but when the fever came it hit us both very strong i was like sweating for like three days three nights it was just so hard to tend to a child while you're also sick the thing about it was that even though my husband like pretty much held it down and took care of both of us i still wanted to make sure that i was breastfeeding her so she was getting my antibodies so I had to like pretty much be on command. Another thing is when babies have a fever, you want to make sure they stay hydrated. So I was just making sure that I was breastfeeding her. When we called the pediatrics office, they mentioned that giving her fluids, like my breast milk, like that will also cool her body temperature from the inside. I'm praying that I just will not get sick like that in a very long time, as well as baby girl. It is 4 p.m. and it is actually now Friday. It is Friday, June 21st. I am currently in the middle of a little bit of cooking. I'm really hungry and I haven't grocery shopped, but I knew that I had things in the pantry that can be used up. It was just a matter of me getting creative, thinking outside of the box. And sure enough, <laughs> we definitely have enough for a meal. I'm quickly whipping something together. What well, was supposed to be a curry lentil soup, let me show you. I'm waiting for it to boil, but it was supposed to be a creamy 
curry lentil soup but i didn't have curry so i just used like other spices i improvised with other spices and i didn't have coconut milk but i did have coconut cream so i mean it's the same thing right i'm hoping that it will come out all right i mean i've never made this before so i have nothing to compare it to but yeah i've had lentils just sitting there for a while so i decided to use them up and then i'm also making some white rice right over here because my vision is that i'm just gonna have the creamy lentil soup over the rice i'm waiting for my husband to get home from work we do have a couple of things planned for the evening but before i talk about that i think this is ready for me to cover it up so let me do that Let me just set a 30 minute timer on my watch. I usually set my timers on Alexa, but sometimes baby girl wakes up when they go off and currently she's down for a nap. So I definitely don't want her to wake up since she hasn't napped that well today. I want her to get a solid nap in. I actually cut my hair last night. I took off like a solid inch and a half to two inches. I started the process of cutting my hair and then my husband cut like the other half of my hair. I I'm not about to go pay for a haircut. Every time I pay for a haircut, first of all, it's just too much. For the length of hair that I have, which is usually what they charge me like based off of, my haircuts start at about $80. <laughs> and I'm talking about like just a trim. I literally just wanted like a trim. I usually get quoted $80. And the thing is that I feel like it's worth it in a sense because I usually get one haircut for the entire year. So if you were to think about it in terms of like a month thing it would be like $80 divided by 12 so it's not that much money per month right but it's still like a lot of money if you're not sure that you're gonna be satisfied with your haircut <laughs> like last time I went to cut my hair and it was like $75 it was just a trim but I didn't end up liking it like it just looked so bad after a while it looked choppy like it didn't look like a well done job so it's like why pay <laughs> if it's gonna look choppy might as well just do it at home and it's free so anyway that was what we did last night so i don't really know how it looks it's probably not the best because also it was like in the middle of the night we were so tired it's okay it was free so whatever for today we plan on going to a coffee shop to do some event planning for a summer event that we're having and then this weekend i really wanted to redo a father's day because as i mentioned last weekend for actual father's day weekend i was sick baby girl was sick so we did not get to celebrate father's day at all we do have a family event it's going to be a pool party and that's going to be tomorrow we do want to like take care of some stuff in the morning and then on sunday we have quite a lot to do like in our garage in our backyard in terms of landscaping and preparation for the event that we will be hosting so we have a quite a hectic weekend you guys i'm excited but i'm also sort of like stressed so yeah i will be taking you along this weekend to see what we get into see how much progress we get done it is now about to be 7 45 p.m we're gonna go to a coffee shop near us but it's already closed so we're going to go to another one that we've never been to before but we really just want to sit down pop our laptops open and make a to-do list of the pending items that we need to take care of for our event in july so yeah it should be fun i'm hoping baby girl will have a good time she usually does she likes being out and about yeah we'll see how it goes
we are about to have some breakfast. It's a little bit of an update from last night. We ended up not <laughs> going to any coffee shop. The coffee shop that we drove to didn't have a seating area. That's kind of why we wanted to go to a coffee shop was to go and sit down. So we walked around a little bit, went to like a night farmer's market or just like a night market. But the vibe in like the downtown area that we were was very much like clubby. We just definitely wanted more of a peaceful vibe. So the whole time that we were there, I don't know about you, but I felt kind of like not off, but it just wasn't what I was looking forward to. So like on edge. not on edge, but like I just wanted a peaceful, like let's sit down and talk about event planning while we sip on some coffee. Yeah. And then it turned into like club music. It was still a good time because baby girl, we were like pushing her around her stroller, obviously. And she loves ambiance. She had a good time. She almost fell asleep in her stroller. Yeah, she was mad when we put her in her car seat. But in terms of us, we were just kind of looking for something a little bit more low key and calm. But anyway, today is another day and we finally get our coffee fixed. We were going to stop at Dutch Bros last night, but even like at 8.30, like it was past eight and there was still a long line. So we decided to come back home. I shouldn't take milk, right? No. We're just gonna be quick. Yeah, that's when we we'll go to Target. So. It is a couple of hours after having breakfast. We are going to make a quick trip to a thrift store just because I realized I don't have any summer attire and my husband wants to do a little bit of browsing as well. So yeah, we're gonna go do that and hopefully we have luck finding something. It is now Sunday. It is 4.37 p.m. We are on our way to 5 p.m. mass. Today has just been a very relaxing day. I actually napped on and off throughout the entire day because baby girl did not get much sleep last night. I don't know if another tooth is coming in perhaps. It is really hot today. We also wanted to wait for it to cool down before we headed out to do our tasks outside. So yeah, let's go. <laughs> it's daddy's turn with the carrier we just got out of church baby girl was so loud in there she was so rowdy i feel like these last couple of days she's just been extra what would you say she's finding her voice she's finding her voice and let's just say that her voice is very loud <laughs> we're gonna do a little bit of shopping we're at ross and then we're going to trader joe's We are back home now. We did a quick little grocery haul. Just finished putting everything away. I started a load of laundry and I'm slowly starting to do a little bit of picking up around the house. It honestly feels like the house is always going to be unkept and that just means that it is lived in. So I really try not to stress out too much just because I am very like stimulated by my environment, like by the visual clutter. I have a kid now and I just have to understand that there's other things that I should be stressing about and it should not be the messy home because I know I'm eventually going to clean it up. There is a lot happening right now. My husband and I were supposed to also take care of some organization in the backyard in preparation for our event. But to be honest, this weekend, we just did not have motivation for those things. It was also just really hot outside. It was like one of the hottest weekends of the year so far. We just didn't want to be out in the garage outside cleaning 
training because we would have to take baby girl out with us and it was just too hot for her to be out there. It is Sunday night though, so I do like to have a little bit more order than I currently do so that we start a new week without having to deal with all of this on a Monday. Baby girl's down in her playpen. I'm gonna go ahead and feed her because I think she might be hungry again, even though I breastfed her in the car <laughs> before going to Ross and Trader Joe's, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to see if she'll eat a little bit more and maybe go down for a nap because today has been a very bad napping day. She has not napped much. Baby girl just went down for a nap. I hope this clip is not too loud. My husband's outside cutting the grass and it sounds really loud here, but I'm hoping that it won't be picked up too much by the mic. So it's already 8 p.m. and there's quite a lot of things to do. When I'm in this predicament, I try to just do bite-sized tasks and not overwhelm myself. I like to just step back and identify what are the priorities, like what are the things we absolutely need to have a good seamless start to a new week. First of all, it's food. Second of all, making sure that the dishes, like dishes that we're going to need are washed and any laundry that is occupying any spaces that we use is either put away or just shoved into the office where we can't see it. I'm gonna do a quick check. We have been cooking a lot from home, like pretty much every day. So I'm pretty sure we should have enough for lunch tomorrow. Yeah, sure enough, we still have some rice that I made and we have some lentil curry. So that should be enough for a lunch for both of us. And then I do have some rice pudding, some arroz con leche that I made, and I do have yogurt. So this should be breakfast for me and the yogurt should be breakfast for my husband. That's something I can check off. So moving from that, I'm literally just like walking through this with you. The next thing I noticed that I have like this massive pile on our couch. If I don't take care of it now, I'm probably not gonna take care of it. So like. Thursday. So I'll just fold some laundry and watch some YouTube because that just seems like such a good activity to do right now. So yeah, let's take care of that. just finished folding the laundry. I am going to move into kitchen activities. It is now 8.30. Hopefully I can wrap things up within the next hour. Okay, I am now in the kitchen. For me, just having a countertop that is not clear is stressful. Like it stresses me out and it shouldn't stress me out this much, but it does. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start there. And also at Trader Joe's today, I forgot to mention that we did get some fruits and veggies for baby girls. So one of the things that I mentioned in my previous videos is that I just wanted to do better in terms of what I was feeding baby girl since she is doing solid foods and we are trying baby led weaning. So I wanted to just spruce up the like veggies and fruits that we were giving her and kind of do more research or look up like more breakfast ideas, lunch ideas, dinner ideas for her. So I I've heard a lot of advice of like the easiest way to do it is just give your baby like what you guys are eating for dinner like whatever you cook for dinner or breakfast or lunch just give your baby those meals but sometimes like we cooked with items that she couldn't have so sometimes I would maybe like add honey to our vegetables and babies can't eat honey so there's things like that like sometimes I would just do too much seasoning like too much salt that i thought it wouldn't be like a good idea to give her something that's salty so i thought why don't i just do it the other way around rather than like feeding her around what we're eating why don't i just select the veggies and fruits that i want to make sure she's eating and then just incorporate that into our diet point of this is that i just made a list like i felt like a lot of times i had ideas of what i wanted to feed her but once i was at the grocery store especially since the last couple of times i've grocery shopped with my baby girl so i just go in 
in and go out because sometimes she does get fussy and I get like nervous since I'm alone and it's just like a lot to handle. So anyway, I made a list of the things that I for sure wanted her to have this week. And then that way it's easier for me to, when breakfast comes around, lunch, dinner, I just, I know what the plan is. Some of the things that I added on this list are already things that I was giving her, but I thought just having it laid out would make my brain feel better about all of this, like make it seem more structured. So sweet potatoes is on the top of the list because I've been wanting to give her sweet potatoes, but we just usually don't eat sweet potatoes at home. So this is one of the things that I wanna feed her. So I'm gonna make sure to incorporate it into our meals for this week. Mango is a fruit that she already eats. Avocado is also one of her favorites. Oatmeal, we already have oatmeal, so I'm just gonna like cook that up. And then I did buy some Greek yogurt so I can add that into her oatmeal. And I will probably just blend that with water or some of my breast milk. Banana, so I did mention that banana did constipate her in the past. I think she got constipated the first time because she was very young. It was one of the first foods, so I think her stomach was just like not ready for it whereas now she's had so many like other kinds of foods that I feel like banana won't constipate her anymore another thing that she did try this weekend when we went to the pool um, was watermelon and it was like an interesting reaction because she would put it in her mouth and just like squeeze out all the juice and then she would spit out like the remaining of it and she was doing the same thing with her hands like she would grasp the watermelon and just like squeeze out all the juice I thought that was like a fun food and like a fun texture for her to try again so watermelon we didn't get that this time around but that is something that again i'm just adding to the list of things that i would like to make sure like when i go to the grocery store like i'm incorporating that zucchini squash this is just one of her go-to's her favorite so i always make sure to grab this and we usually give her like scrambled eggs we scramble them and i just make strips of them but this time i want to boil the eggs and give them to her that way i did buy a crinkle cutter it hasn't arrived i bought it on amazon but it's just like this crinkle cutter that like you slice their food with and it cuts it like in a crinkle so it's supposed to give texture to their food so it's easier for them to grab it i'll link it down below as well so you know what i'm talking about but i bought that so like i can crinkle all of her foods including like her boiled eggs and the last thing on the list here is greek yogurt so this is just like not a complete list I wanna keep adding things as I go, but these are some of the things that I'm going to try to focus on at least a couple of these for this week. And this already makes me feel so much better. Even though again, I was already feeding her these things, something about it not having structure or it not being more like well thought out was making me feel guilty, which is dumb, I know, but it's the reality. So anyway, my husband told me that there's something going on in our front yard, so I'm gonna go see what that's about. <laughs> so I went outside to see what my husband was talking about and I guess he found like a little baby bird <laughs> when he was doing like some landscaping outside and there's a bird nest like under like our roof tiles, but I guess there's like this tiny baby. What well, it must be like one or two days old, it's tiny. So anyway, a hatchling. So we're about to just, he's gonna try to pop it back in the nest. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. Okay, you guys, update on the bird. It's back with its mother. I pulled out my nest. I was so ready to become a bird mom, part two. We already have a bird right now. We have like a pet pigeon. It looks like more like a dove, but it's a pigeon. And my husband was able to like scoop the bird into the nest. Hard to explain, but bird is back safe with its mother. And we are going to proceed with our nightly activities. <laughs> So I am all done in the kitchen. I went ahead and packed lunches for tomorrow, washed all of the major dishes. I also went ahead and pumped, but as I was pumping, I was reading this book. I've been wanting to read this series for a while. And luckily for the book club that I am part of, they selected the first book of the series. But anyway, my husband and I are now going to enjoy some cereal before we go shower. Hello, it is now Monday. It is June 24th. It is currently 1.23 p.m. This morning, I got a little bit of work done from home and then we went into the office. So yeah, this morning was already pretty eventful. Baby girl just woke up from a nap. She's in her playpen. She's watching me. I went ahead and made a little to-do list of things that I would like to take care of. It's kind of long. I usually don't like to have so many items 
items on a list because it overwhelms me, but this is just things that I would like to take care of for this week. I want to identify some things that I want to prioritize for today, but since baby girl usually like plays for a while, like as she gets older, she's able to play for even longer periods of time on her own. So I'm going to take advantage of her being content right now to tackle some of the things on here. I want to read off a couple of things that I have on here and no order in particular. So one of the things I have to do, I do need to make a couple of phone calls. I mentioned that we are hosting an event in the summer. So there's just some things that I need to make sure are like rented or ordered. So I have some items on here related to that. For a guest bathroom, I also want it to be like a little bit more guest ready. I need to order some things on Amazon for our guest restroom. I want to buy a couple of things from Costco. So I do want to have like a charcuterie table and there's some items that I want to buy from Costco for that. I also want to buy some desserts and just make a list of the things that I am going to purchase at Costco as the date approaches. So that's it in terms of like event planning. Some just more household related items are that I would like to post a monitor that we have. Just it's been sitting in our house for like over a year, I would say. And it's a monitor that my husband bought, but he doesn't really use anymore. So anything that we have and we haven't used for like over a year, I try to post on Facebook Marketplace, on OfferUp and just sites like that or apps like that. I do also have this Amazon box that's just sitting over there full of household items that we ordered. So I need to just organize that within the home. And then I also, of course, have to do some dishes and laundry. I also do want to give baby girl sweet potato today. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and bake that sweet potato sometime today so that we can eat that for dinner or for lunch tomorrow, but that so baby girl can also have some. That is already a lot of things. Like I typically, like I said, do not try to do this much in one day, but here's the thing too. I also like to identify my energy levels. And if I notice that it's a high energy day for me, or if I am experiencing high energy, high motivation, I will run with that. So right now, because we've had a good Monday, we started our week off good. We had a good weekend. Our morning has been productive and eventful. I just feel really good right now. So this is why I decided, you know what? Let's just be a little bit overly ambitious and try to tackle as much of this as we can. I did order some things for baby girl. So I did get her some utensils. I was watching a video on baby led weaning that they can use like pretty much regular um, silverware from six months plus. So I ordered this for her, just some forks and spoons. I also ordered some silicone plates and they have the suction in the bottom so it sticks to her high chair so see i wanted to show you it does have like several of these little suction cups so that it doesn't slip away when she's eating something else that we also bought for her was her own little glass cup so she can drink her water so yeah baby girl is growing up so yeah this was also like from one of the baby led weaning videos that i watched is that you can just introduce normal glassware normal silverware to them so we're gonna try that and i also like this because a lot of the times we were giving her water in her sippy cups and it was hard for us to see like how much water was going into her mouth and then she would sometimes like spit up the water but obviously this is clear so we're able to see like how much water she's intaking at any given time and then i also bought this crinkle cutter so that i can go ahead and give texture to her food like her avocado or her mango slices just so she can go ahead and grip it right now a lot of the food is very slippery so it like slips out of her hands so yeah i'm excited to try this out with her later on next thing that i think i'm gonna do is that i really want to just bake the sweet potato just so it's ready to go so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and wash these and then just cut them into little strips before i bake them so that they're easy for baby girl to grab mm -hmm. 
Okay, so they're all cut up. I went ahead and did like varying lengths and varying widths. I'm actually gonna go ahead and just put them in hot water first so they get a little bit softer and I don't have to bake for as much time. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just waiting for the water to boil <laughs> before I add the sweet potatoes into the oven to bake. But baby girl is starting to get restless. I think she definitely wants to hang out with mommy. So I'm gonna go ahead and just wait for a couple more minutes and then hop in here with baby girl because I do wanna read this book to her. It's called Saira y los del... <laughs> Hi. You're just a little wild one, huh? Yeah, you are. It's called Zaira y los Delfines, which is Spanish for Zaira and... You wanna see it? Which translates into Zaira and the Dolphins. And Zaira, or Zaira in Spanish, <laughs> is actually my baby girl's name. I don't know if I've mentioned that on this channel yet, but yeah, her name is Saira or Zaira. And my sister-in-law found this on Amazon and she sent me a picture of this, like, no way. <laughs> so she's like, I have to get it. So she bought it for baby girl. We received it in the mail, I wanna say sometime last week. We're gonna read this, okay, mamas? Saira y los delfines. Okay, let me go ahead and quickly put the sweet potatoes to bake so that can just be happening in the background while I read to baby girl. And honestly, you guys, starting to cook when baby girl is awake or even asleep is kind of a struggle sometimes because I never know when she's going to get antsy, when she's gonna get fussy. And sometimes when you're cooking, you can't really stop in the middle of it, you know? Almost done, mommy. Yeah, I think one of the hard... Alexa, stop. Oh my God. I'm so overstimulated right now. Almost done, okay? Mommy's making some sweet potatoes. Mommy's making some sweet potatoes for you. Mommy's making some sweet potatoes for my bebes. Mommy's making some sweet potatoes for my bebes. I'm gonna go ahead and change your diaper because it's quite packed in there, isn't it? Okay, I just changed baby girl's diaper. I'm just gonna add a little bit of olive oil, but I quickly, as I'm touching food, I wanna quickly talk about baby stool because it's just so interesting how different things that you feed them obviously manifest differently in their stool. And right now, since we are trying baby led weaning and we're letting her sort of like hold on to larger pieces of food and just interact with her food way more, you can see like bigger chunks of the food that isn't fully digested show up in her stool. And it definitely took a little getting used to that. I'm not gonna lie. This past weekend, we gave her watermelon. So the other day my husband was changing her diaper and he calls me into the room like, oh my gosh, look at her diaper, what's going on? We thought there was blood in her stool. But after inspecting, I told him, no, that's definitely watermelon. Like look at the little fibers. And he's like, oh yeah, you're right. I forgot I gave her watermelon. So one of those things like feeding them, you know, larger chunks of food, it's always a little surprise, especially when it's their first time trying a specific food. It's always a little surprise, like what's gonna show up in their diaper. I typically Google it before because I have had scares. Like I mentioned before on my channel that the first time we gave her a banana, that looked so freaky in her diaper. Like all the little fiber threads looked like, looked like worms. And that was so scary, like that freaked me out. So anyway, <laughs> I don't know if this grosses you out or not, but I'm sure it doesn't. Like if you're a parent, I'm sure your baby's stool is not obviously fun. Like you would rather be looking at or smelling something else. But I also know like from one parent to another, if you're a parent watching this, that a lot of things just stop grossing you out when you have a kid. Especially if it's your own kid, you know? Anyway, I'm gonna pop these into the oven and then go play with little girl for a while. Oh my gosh, it's so hot. Mama's gonna read to you, okay? Come on, let's read a new bookie. Saira y los delfines. 
Como cada día, Zaira fue a la fuente de la plaza para ver a los delfines. Look at me here, little Zaira. That's you right there with your little imaginary friend. Mira, hoy los delfines están juguetones. Fantásmico sonreía, encantado. Look at mommy. Dolphins. ¿Quién es Violeto? ¿Y qué delfines saltan altos? En esta fuente no hay otra cosa que agua. Y el agua no salta. ¿Hoy es a los delfines, Gemma Luna? Hoy cantan canciones. Sí, mami. Hablaron de ella. ¡Ah! Tal vez irá a buscar ballenas a un charco. Lo primero que hizo Tomaya fue plantarse delante de los niños que se burlaban de Zaira. Zaira, the end for now. We're going to continue later. So it is now 5 p.m. Baby girl actually went down for a nap a while ago. After I read to her, I noticed she was just like super fussy. So I figured she might be tired. I breastfed her and then sure enough, she's been down for like, I want to say over half an hour, which is a lot for her. I actually have accomplished most of my to-do list. The only things that I have to do is pretty much wash dishes as well as post the monitor that I had mentioned earlier. When my husband gets home, we are going to grill some burgers. That makes me really happy since I'm starving right now. But right now, since baby girl is apparently deep in sleep, I'm just gonna go ahead and take care of the dishes so when my husband gets home, we can dirty it all back up again. <laughs> Baby girl is up from her nap. Say hi. You guys, her eyelashes are so long. A lot of times when people first meet her, that is one of the first things they ever notice about her is just how long her eyelashes are. We just finished eating. My husband made some burgers. He took baby girl outside and they were grilling together. Now I'm just wiping down the monitor because it's been accumulating dust. I'm gonna post it for sale and hopefully someone buys it quickly because honestly, I'm tired of storing it. It's just taking up space. You guys, I have very bad news. My husband called me outside after I finished like wrapping up the monitor and the little bird that we put back into its nest yesterday, it was dead. It was on our porch. I guess the mom might have like kicked it back out or the baby like just jumped back out or something. I don't know what the situation was. It was so sad because we looked up what's the best thing to do and the best thing is to like return it to its nest. <sighs> Yeah, we're gonna go bury it in our backyard now. <laughs> Hello, it is now the next day. It is Tuesday, June 25th. It is 3 p.m. And I do have a doctor appointment at 3.30. I scheduled a physical just to make sure everything is running smoothly post giving birth. I did have like my six week checkup after giving birth, but now it's just like a, a holistic physical just to make sure everything is good. But yeah, I just quickly wanted to hop on here and outro this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I am really enjoying filming these type of videos. So yeah, if you like the video, go ahead and like the video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.